chiefs are killed, looking glass is dead, Tahul Hul Shoot is dead, the old men are all dead. It is the young men who say yes or no. He who led the young men, Olakut, is dead. It is cold and we have no blankets. The little children are freezing to death. My people, some of them, have run away to the hills and have no blankets, no food. No one knows where they are, perhaps freezing to death. I want to have time to look for my children and see how many of them I can find. Maybe I shall find them among the dead. Hear me, my chiefs. I am tired. My heart is sick and sad. From where the sun now stands, I will fight no more forever. The scars of war run deep and wide, etched upon our hearts and minds. A legacy of pain and loss, left by battles of all kinds. Families torn apart by strife, loved ones lost to the fight, communities shattered by bombs, homes destroyed in the night. The soldiers, too, bear heavy wounds, physical and mental, deep and true. The trauma of battle hard to shake, a price paid for serving the few. And in the aftermath of war, the struggle for recovery begins, rebuilding homes and lives and hearts, trying to heal from all the sins. But scars, they do not fade away. Their mark remains for all to see, a reminder of the cost of war and the pain that it can bring. The scars of war, they sear the soul, a weight that cannot be ignored, a burden carried day by day, a legacy of pain and sorrow. Children left without a father's love, mothers mourning their sons in vain, a generation lost to the fight, a reminder of the cost of war. The soldiers who survive the fight carry scars that no one sees, haunted by the memories of war, struggling to find some peace. Yet amidst the destruction and pain, the human spirit still shines through, communities banding together to rebuild what war has undone. But there's hope in the midst of pain, a light that shines amidst the rain, community building, aid and care, helping those in need everywhere. And soldiers, once they lay down their arms, find ways to heal each other's scars, brothers and sisters united in fight, holding each other through the darkest nights. The scars of war, they are a call to make a world where peace can prevail, where nations work towards unity, and people are valued equally. Let us work towards a world of peace, where scars are not our legacy, where families thrive and communities grow, and soldiers return home safely.